Forever After High lovers, this is Sydney, and you guessed it guys, this is an Ever After High video. So in this video, I'm going to be giving a house tour of what I have for my Ever After High dolls. And just to let you know, I only have four of them, so there isn't a whole lot, so I don't need a bunch of space. And recently I changed everything because I don't have the little cabinet that I kept them in and also some Monster High dolls that I have. So um, anyway, I'll explain everything when I show you guys the, the room. So let's get started. Alright guys, this is it. So um, this is a cardboard box. This was the outside. And I just flipped it so it could be like wallpaper for the inside. And um, yeah, this was a box that my grandparents mailed to us because there was something in there that we forgot when we were down in Kansas. Um, so here is Ginger. And of course, this is Gingerbread House. So um, she's got a lot of stuff on her bed. Here's two little gingerbread men that I made on my Wonderloom. Here's a little cauldron that's actually from um, Monster High, but she is a witch. Here's a lollipop that I made on my Wonderloom, and it smells really good because there's some uh, fruit-smelling bands. Here is her purse. Also, this is her little pet shop um, pet. Her name is Sugar Sprinkles. I thought that was perfect for Ginger. So now I'm going to be showing you her bedding and stuff. All right. So for her headboard, it has a sticker that says delicious and there's cake and candy corn, piece of candy. At her footboard, there's little cupcakes and a um, pair of lips and a tongue sticking out. And for the footboard, I don't know what that's called. There's ice cream and cupcakes and it says sweet treat. This pink is um, from, uh, what is it called? construction paper and this is just made out of cardboard and these are the little supports so the bed doesn't slump down I just hot glued all this and tamed this yeah it got wrinkled but it looks nice and smooth on this side so yeah that's her complete bed all right moving on I just want to show you guys that I have all of my ever after high diaries on this wall so this is gingers this is poppies hollies and this is Cerise's. And just to let you know, um, this is not the order of when I got them. It's just kind of just how I laid it out. Um, first I got Cerise, then Ginger, and then both of those girls. So here's Cerise's bed. Um, she has her little basket of porcupine or hedgehog as her pet. It's just a little pet job little thing. And this is a bear that I made on my Wonderloom. The only reason why I have like these things here is because like they're from the forest. I didn't really know what to have as her pet. I would have liked to have a little pet shop bear, but I don't have one. But anyway, I'm just gonna show you guys her bed that I made. All I have for Cerise right now is a red blanket. So I don't know what uh, when or like what color I'll make her pillow. But anyway, her bed is made just like Cerise's. The headboard has a tree on it because she is from the forest. So this is red, and then this is brown. And the footboard is red also. It says Cerise in cursive. And it has a moon right here. Um, yeah, I just had to use Sharpie for it so it could stand out. Also, just to let you guys know, I made this outfit myself. I just made a simple circle skirt out of um some fleece material well not fleece but maybe i don't know what i'm talking about um so it was no so and this has a button so now we're going to look at um sorry the o'hare twins bed so i got this inspiration from crafty girl 13 yeah i subscribed to her she makes awesome ever after high bed tutorials and room tutorials so, um, it's very much like what she had, except she had, uh, towers on each side, so it's really pretty. But anyway, um, so I'll start, start with the top bunk. Um, here's Holly O'Hare's name. I put that there. The placing for where I put, like, 
decorations on the bed is different. So the same is though for the bed rail, um, or the thing so she doesn't fall off is like a castle top and it's pink. Uh, her blanket, it has dachshunds and bows and polka dots and paw prints. And this is sparkly and pink. I couldn't find the exact color of the pink that I made, but it's okay. Her purse is right here. She has a pink heart pillow in her arm and then her kitchen in the other. And that's a little castle that's from a box. So you'll be seeing a lot of box art. Um, on the outside here, there's a picture of Holly and it's yellow because I don't have gold paint. On this outside, it has Poppy, and it's gold. Or well, not gold, it's yellow. Um, just real quick, the little thing around the bed, just around here, um, it's just some, like, not yarn or anything. It's just some string kind of thing that was on my shorts from Kohl's. I know it's really weird, but I, I thought it was pretty and I could do something with it. So I just put it around the edges so you didn't see the raw cardboard. Um, right here is a pet bed for their cats and there's a little bunny and a blanket and then the box is silver. It's a jewelry box from a store. Okay, for Poppy's bunk, um, she has pictures of the Ever After High characters. Here's the tower scissors and the picture of the two sisters this is gray also this wall is gray and obviously the back wall is purple and sparkly and underneath her blanket it's the same purple just without the sparkles so on her bed um poppy has her um bandana headband her purse with her little hair um styling tools here's her kitten and here's Poppy herself. Her blank, um, oh my gosh, not blanket. Her pillow is dark gray and it's got spots and stuff. It's longer, it's the same width, or almost the same width as the bed. And her blanket is purple with, uh, black zebra stripes. Sorry, I just couldn't think of it at first. So, yeah, I just didn't take off their accessories because I was just going to show the whole thing. I just did that with them because they have a lot of stuff on their bed. So, yeah, that was my room tour. And I'm so sorry about my camera, how it makes everything look pink. It's a camera that scratched, and I did not do that. This phone was my dad's. Yeah, I have a phone like mirror there. Um, So, yeah, this was my house tour. Oh, my gosh, Ginger keeps falling over. So sorry. Um, this is my house tour. It's not that much, but I think it looks really cute. And I really don't have a place for this to go. So I could just fold this up and just like put their stuff away and put it back out and set it up the way that I like so that I can play with it again whenever I need it for filming or just wanting to use it. <laughs> So, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys like it, and go subscribe to Crafty Girl 13. She is so awesome. Um, her name is just, it's not capitalized or whatever. It's just all um, lowercase, and it's all together. So, I'll put her name in the description bar, box, whatever, um, if you haven't subscribed to her already. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye!